Hi G Accounters, back again with another video. So we heard that some people might think that we can't add insert columns or rows to our reports or add annotations. So we're here to clear up any misconceptions and tell you that you absolutely can. So going to GAcon for QuickBooks and get accounting data slash reports, we're gonna head over to our formatted reports. And this is where you can first run the report and then add any rows or columns that you would like to to customize the report to your liking. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and run a profit and loss report. I'm going to keep everything as is just for demo's sake. In our pool settings, as always, we have our formatting based settings. I'm again going to keep everything as is just for demo's sake. And then as always, we have our report style settings in our formatted reports where you can really format the report to your liking, um, whether it be your company's color scheme and aesthetic or a client's color scheme and aesthetic. You can absolutely play around with that to form the ultimate report look and feel um, of your need and like. See our profit and loss right over here. Awesome. So now that we have our report run, we're going to go ahead and add a gross profit margin row, just for example. So here, I'm going to call it gross profit margin. So to get started with building our gross profit margin, what we're going to do here is insert our little formula. So we are going to take our gross profit divided by our total income times by 100 just to get that percentage value and then drag that across our entire report. As you can see here, I've got my gross profit margin. You could obviously go ahead and format it additionally any way you'd like, but I am also going to go ahead and insert a column here just to show you that you can insert whatever you'd like to this report to really customize it and make it your own. So here I'm just putting in a random notes column and this is where you could comment on any of your line items or have any of your team members make leave any comments um, that they would like as well. Once we have inserted this column and row, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this report to show you guys any changes that you've made will absolutely remain within the report. It's not going to break anything. It's gonna stay there, formulas and all, to your liking. So we're going ahead and refreshing here. Awesome, successfully updated. And as you can see, my notes column with anything I've inserted there is remaining as it is. In addition to our gross profit margin row that we've inserted, formulas remaining and all. I hope this gives you guys a better context as to how you can use our formatted reports and add to them to really make them your own. Please let us know how you thought of this video down below. Give us a like and a comment and let us know what you'd like to see in the future. I'll talk with you all soon. Bye.